Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson. In our previous lesson, we examined the performance of crop production subsector. In today's lesson, we will discuss the performance of the agricultural sector, particularly the performance of the livestock and fishery production subsectors. We discussed the performance of the crop production subsector involves the production of food crops, cash crops, fruits and vegetables, and floriculture. Students, let's start today's lesson with the livestock subsector. Are you ready? Very good. As you have already learned in the previous units, the livestock subsector contributes to the Ethiopian economy in the following ways. Livestock is an important source of food and non-food items. It brings much needed foreign currency. It creates employment opportunities. Students, products of livestock are categorized into two, food and non-food items. Some of the food items are meat and meat products, milk and milk products such as cheese, creams and butter, eggs and honey, hides and skins, beeswax, manure, and transport. As you can see from this table, the production of cow and camel milk, eggs and honey, has increased in 2010-11 compared to the 2006-07 production. Cow and camel milk have increased from 2.63 and 114.18 million liters in 2006-07 to 4.06 billion and 262.8 million liters in 2010-11 respectively. Similarly, egg production has increased from 81.7 million in 2006-07 to 98.3 millions in 2010-11. And honey has increased from 51 million kilograms in 2006-07 to 53.68 million kilograms in 2010-11. Students, from the non-food items, hides and skins, and beeswax are important livestock products. Hides and skins and beeswax can be used to produce different products that generate foreign currency and create employment opportunities. In factories, Hides and skins are processed into semi-finished products. Leather is used by factories that produce footwear and leather clothes. Students, now I want you to jot down the contributions of livestock subsector to the Ethiopian economy. You have three minutes.
Students, did you answer the question? Very good. As we have already discussed, the livestock subsector contributes to the creation of employment opportunities, to foreign currency earning, and to the GDP as a whole. According to the Ministry of Finance and Economic Development, MOFED data, about 12 to 15 percent of the total GDP and 25 to 30 percent of the agricultural GDP of 1999 production period were from the livestock subsector. In 1987-88, 23.4% of agricultural export and 10% of overall export of Ethiopia were from the livestock subsector. Students, the percentage share of the livestock subsector in Ethiopian export earning has been showing a declining trend. But, in absolute terms, the foreign currency earnings obtained from the subsector has been steadily increasing over the past years. Let's see the following table. As you can see from this table, in 2005-06, the livestock subsector accounted for 14.4% of agricultural sector export earning of the country. However, its share had been declining for successive periods and reached to 11.3% in 2009-10. In 2010-11 production period, its share in the agricultural sector export earnings has increased to 15.3%. On the other hand, the total value of export earnings of the country from the livestock subsector has been steadily increasing in the periods between 2005-06 and 2010-11. Students, what are the major types of livestock product exports of Ethiopia? Discuss with students next to you. You have two minutes. What are the major types of livestock product exports of Ethiopia. Students, did you answer the question? Very good. Now, let's see the major exportable livestock products of Ethiopia. The major types of livestock product exports of Ethiopia are leather and leather products, 
meat and meat products, live animals, and beeswax. I hope you now have a clear understanding of the performance of the livestock subsector. Next, we will discuss the performance of the fishery subsector. Ethiopia has also a huge potential fishery resources in its bodies of water. It is estimated that more than 100 species of fish exist in the country's water bodies. 40 of these species are endemic to the country. The main species of fish catch are Nile tilapia, Nile perch, lates, barbus, and catfish. Though it is not so well developed, fishery is practiced in many lakes in Ethiopia. The lakes where fishery is practiced include Lake Tana, Lake Hawassa, Lake Ziwai, Lake Chamo, the Baro River, and Koka Reservoir. Ethiopia is endowed with larger water resources and high potential fish production. For example, studies show that there are 6,477 kilometers square of major lakes and reservoirs and 275 kilometers square of small water bodies and 7,185 kilometer of rivers within the country. In 2001, the estimated production potential of the country was 51,481 tons of fish, but the actual production was only 30% of its actual potential. Students, can you explain the advantages of the fishery subsector to the Ethiopian economy? Answer the question individually. You have three minutes. Explain the advantages of fishery subsector to the Ethiopian economy.
I hope you mentioned different economic benefits of the fisheries subsector. Let me mention some of them. Fishery is the source of food. By creating employment opportunities, it brings incomes for households. It is a means of foreign currency earnings for the country. Students, you remember you have learned that Ethiopia has a huge potential in the fishery subsector. Despite its huge potential, fishery is an underperforming subsector in Ethiopia. Do you know the factors that contribute to such low performance of the subsector? Some of the factors that contribute to the low performance of the fishery subsector include limited government attention in the past, inefficient infrastructures, underdeveloped marketing network, inefficient harvesting and processing technology, inadequate extension service and credit, and absence of clear laws and regulation for productive utilization of fish resources and protection of catchment areas. Students, in today's lesson, we have discussed the performance of agriculture sector, particularly the livestock and fishery production subsectors of the economy. In our discussion, we emphasized the contribution of livestock to national GDP, employment and export earning, the performance and problems of fishery subsector. In the next lesson, we will discuss the problems of the agricultural sector. Until then, goodbye everyone. Thank you.